The finalists are Shayna Kendall Johnson. I'm seven and I go to Southfoot and Junior School. I really like helping people, like to help change how they live. I've helped a homeless man and his dog by giving a dog some water and I think two bones. And I gave the man a drink and a sausage roll. I help out in the Sand Charity. I do the 5K run for the Each Charity. Each charity is for like the people who, like the children who's come to the end of life. And then the Sand Charity is for parents who've lost their babies. Once we stood outside Tesco's with buckets and people put things through and we sell things like wristbands. It made me feel really proud of myself, helping a person like a stranger. Buster Lee. I went to school in Denver and also obviously where I live as well. To actually replace and get a new sign, it was going to be £12,000. Everyone drives past it and you know, obviously it's the, basically the main thing of Denver. It's got you know, the windmill on the side and also the Denver Sluice, which Denver is most famous for. So I thought, you know, I'd take a bit of time, you know, about a week it took me, and to actually repaint the sign, just temporary, until obviously they can't afford a new sign. I've been keeping reptiles for about five years, and now I've got 28 reptiles and also got a bird of prey as well, so it just keeps growing and growing. I rescue a lot of reptiles and also rehome quite a few, so any that sort of people don't want anymore or haven't been looked after properly, I take in and try and give a bit, a bit of a better home. Daisy Mason. Daisy was born 12 weeks prematurely and when she was one she was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. And we were told that she probably would never walk and probably wouldn't speak, um, that feeding may be an issue and that she, you know, she'd probably have learning difficulties and things and to prepare ourselves kind of for the worst. Although Daisy's mobility is very limited and, and she can't do a lot of things for herself, she can speak quite clearly um, and she's doing really, really well and she socialises really well and she doesn't let anything hold her back. I like going to school and things. I like going swimming. There's a big whale in Granny's swimming pool. Sometimes I just step back and I look at her and I think, how do you do this with a smile on your face, whatever it is? I'm so excited to see where she's going to go and what she's going to do with her life. It absolutely intrigues me. Nominating and shortlisted is just like winning as well, so kind of both. I'm excited to see what other people have done to help as well. You know, there's a lot of other people out there have done a lot more for their community. I've just painted a sign, basically. But yeah, I rescue a lot of reptiles and things like that, but I, yeah, it's just great to be nominated. Everybody should take a little look at her and think, I want to be like Daisy. Thank you.